Remember, remember the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason and plot. Hi guys, how's it going? Hey, welcome back. Another Wednesday, another chef. And as you've seen by the thumbnail, we've got a howler lined up for you today. We'll run through the stuff in a minute, but first, here, did you notice? I know you're all going to be getting fed up. I can hear the eyes rolling, honestly. We're going to be using another badger brush, one I've not used for a while. Look, there it is. Check that out. I hope my telephone, telephone, Oh, my cell phone camera does it justice, but this is an absolutely beautiful brush. Very thick, dense badger knot. I thought at first it may be set a little low, but having looked at a few other of these brushes online, uh, they're all set the same. So maybe it's just the brush. Maybe it's just the knot that came with the brush. But there it is, look. Wild West Brushworks. Pew, pew! Because I look debonair, handsome, dressed in black. Not somebody you'd want to cross. Okay, well what we've done, put that in the official John Shea Super Soaker where it will be left for about 10 minutes while I go and make myself a cup of coffee. Then I'll come back, we'll crack on with the rest of the shave. See you in a minute. And we're back. How are you doing? Look, I've got some true Wild West coffee in the cup that the cup manufacturer named after they saw my video. Oh my word. I just go through live talking gibberish, guys. If you watch the videos, you'll get used to it. What do you think of the firework display? Absolutely wonderful. We saw this stall there. Shoot five of these down and you can win a plasma TV or you can win a, the latest MacBook or you can win a new Android cell phone and so on. And Samantha said, I'll go on, Dad, and I'll win you something. Look what she won the look. Oh. Husky, yeah. Improve your shooting skills, Samantha. But it's, it's, the, it's wonderful. Guy Fawkes and I, we had a fantastic time, all the family together. And that firework display, guys, was going like that for 30 minutes continual. We just stood in a field looking up. 30 minutes that went on. They must have spent best part of 50k easily on, on fireworks. But anyway... Come on, it ties in, it ties in. Check this out, look. Tombstone, woo, gunpowder. Look, let's have a look at this. Go on PAA's website. It says they're 17 pounds, gives you an idea of how much it will cost in pounds. I know some people struggle with the exchange rate and so on. Um, 17 pounds there, um, but it works out the exchange rate. It works out the exact same in dollars. Uh, when you hear the word Tombstone Arizona, you trigger it immediately. Wyatt Earp, Virgil, Morgan. Yeah, uh, I'll try and get down here now. Um, I'm trying to find the, the scent profile. Um, it did say it on here, guys. Uh, and now, wouldn't you know, can I find it? No, I can't. Um, oh, I saw it. I saw it somewhere, but anyway, it's gunpowder, something else, musk. It's a really good scent profile, but the overreaching scent is gunpowder. And as always with duck scent, 
He's absolutely nailed it. And do you know how I know he's nailed it? We have a World War One and World War Two museum here uh, in our next town over. And it's a big one. And you walk in and you can go in the trenches. They've got real uh, made out trenches and sandbags. And as you walk in, you're, it's pitch black and they've got they've got life-size mannequins and da -da 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 -da. you can hear the guns and so on and they've actually recreated the smell and the smell is of gunpowder because that's somebody when I was there and I've never ever smelt it anywhere else until I got a sniff of this so I know it's gunpowder and I know they've hit the nail right on their head and <clears throat> I'm going to be barming up with this the brush is in the super soaker and we're going to splash up with this <laughs> Six shooter, look at that. That's Azaro. Azaro wanted, um, and I'm using this because look at this. I'll give you a brief rundown. Um, I think this this website here that's selling them, I think they've watched the videos as well. Um, it says here Azaro wanted is looking for you, a sophisticated man ready to take on the world. It wants you to be the charismatic Don one that lives life on the edge. Celebrate life with power seduction. Do you know what I mean? I, I've been quite clearly seen my videos, haven't they? Um, let me see. This bold fragrance gets driven by spicy citrus with woody notes, radiating desire for the man who wears it. I know what that's like. <sighs> Razor, check it out. Merca, 38C, a gift from Franz. Franz Rickmanspool, thank you, Franz over there in the Netherlands, sent me this. Absolutely wonderful, it's a hefty beast. You turn it at the bottom, a bit like it's 34C that does that as well, isn't it? We'll do that, and what are we gonna be putting in this? We're going to be putting these Persona Platinum. Um, shout outs to Mark Zaredi on that one. Uh, I think it was Mark Zaredi. He was talking about them on his latest video and I thought I've got those blades I don't remember trying them so we're gonna give them a go today um, yeah oh and Mark if you're watching please understand that the vast overwhelming majority of British humor uh, is sarcastic Oh, I, I left a comment on his video. He did. A, he mentioned his video about somebody going to Pastors, and he mentioned two channels. And I was like, yeah, somebody else went a while ago, Mark. You know. And he sent me <laughs> sent me an email. Oh, he was very very nice, very polite, and he took it very well. But sometimes, you know, the written word it doesn't convey tone of voice and pitch, doesn't it? So when you read your comment back, you can come across as as really being off with someone when in fact you're not you when you hear it said back you know oh somebody else went as well i roll do you know but in the written one but anyway come on enough enough of this waffleization i know mark will take it well because he's a good guy right let's wet the face we'll crack on and we'll continue with johnny's school of badgers what do you think Okay, Wild West Brushworks. Squeeze, do you see a theme going on, guys? Do you see a theme going on? So what we'll do is, as always, we'll load onto the brush and we'll lather onto the face. How long has that been going? Not a lot. Not long, was we? Oh, the scent strength of this, I'll put about six. Doug and Fran always nail their scents, don't they? Uh, one of the reasons I like PAA's scents Mmm, mmm, not oh, when you read the description. It says, um, saddle leather. And you get that, you get that in it, just a hint of it. No, I'm not a big fan of leather scents, I'm really, really not. Look at this, guys, look. Now I could, couldn't I? I could just keep going and going and going. Check that out guys, check that out. I think the single biggest tip that I was given 
was from Bradley to soak your brush for about 15 minutes. That's made a massive difference in my badger journey. Here you go. Let's have a go at this. So yeah, I hope you all like the footage start of the... I must, I must put my high heels on the next time I come in so I can see in the mirror. My phone is sitting in front of the mirror. And I can't see it so... Right now I'm using my phone as a mirror. Now I'm looking at the mirror. So I'm just going to have to do the top half of my face looking in the mirror. And the bottom half looking in my phone. But please let me know what you think of the shaves. Please let me know. Oh! Housekeeping, housekeeping. Uh, I did my shave Oscars. It was just a bit of fun. But the people, Haley's, that make the, the soap, they've got an Etsy shop. Haley's Artisan that make that rose soap. It's absolutely beautiful stuff and good, really good quality soap. Uh, they've given me a discount code. Uh, it's mine, John, all caps, John101. And you will get 10% off at their Etsy store. Um, now they are the very definition of a small batch artisan. So I don't get anything. I, I, and I don't, I don't want anything. That's not what I'm about. But they will give you 10% off if you use my discount code. Uh, and I would recommend you give the soaps a try. They are absolutely wonderful. Uh, and you'll be helping a small artisan. And they are a small artisan uh, yeah where well, every penny helps so well please go and give them a uh, you know certainly give them a look and if you have a mind to buy something type in John 101 there'll be a link to their Etsy page under this video and there's a link to it under the last video as well yeah, so that's that. All moving forward. Um, I'm sure there was something else I had to talk about. These blades are very good. They are very, very good. I'm off work this week. But you know what happened, guys, I'll tell you. I'm doing nothing. Do you know what happened? During COVID, we couldn't take all our holidays. Now, I felt... I felt a little bit... Um, I felt a little bit guilty taking them. Because what happened was, I was furloughed for six months. In essence, they paid me a full-time wage to sit at home for six months. And then when I went back, they said to me, you haven't had any holidays during that six months. So you've got... You've got, you've got four weeks' worth of holidays to have. And I've been back about a month, so I have five months to have four weeks holidays. Uh, but we just can't. We, so what we'll do is we'll carry five over, five days over. So they carried five days over. That was to last year, uh, and I couldn't use them all up. I tried, I tried. I took them at key moments and so on, um, but with one thing and another, never used the holidays up. So we were told that they would carry over and wet these tips. We're told these holidays would carry over into this year. And they didn't. And I'll be absolutely honest with you, I wasn't really that bothered. Because they gave me six months off and then paid me for four weeks holidays when I came back, you know. So then we looked in January, the carryover hadn't gone on. We looked in March, the carryover hadn't gone on. Looked in April, carryover hadn't gone on. Well, I um, I don't know about you, but um, I, I know now what I'm doing. What I'm doing next December. Not this December, next December. Uh, I am a creature of habit. I'd be the easiest person in the world to kidnap. Uh, so what happened was I went in around about January or March. I booked all my holidays. I booked them all up, all gone. Uh, and then what happened was, that was it, booked holidays. And then it was about about six weeks ago we had an internal memo, please check this, please check that, blah, blah. So I had to go 
It's called My View. It's like my own little uh, dashboard at work where we get all the goss and we get our pay slips. And uh, we book our holidays and so on. So I had to go on and check something completely unrelated. And whilst doing so, just about four weeks ago, it popped up. Five holidays, five holiday days left to take. So I said to my supervisor, I haven't got any holidays left. Investigations were done and he came down the next morning. And he said, no, they've given you five additional days holidays. So you've got an extra five days holidays to take. So I booked this week off. And I'm assuming, but it's kind of like an educated guess, that it's the five days carryover that went on later. Uh, and nobody, nobody saw it, so here you go. I do lot of mittens, look at this. Absolutely wonderful. That was a pro tip from Bradley. If you've got a problem with badgers, soak them in really, really hot tap water for a good 15 minutes before you start your shift. That's what he said to me. Give me a few other little tips, but that one, just that one, seems to have made the most amount of difference for me. And I've developed this. Newfound love for badgers, and I think I just catch my ear. Yeah, I've developed this. Well, I say newfound love, it's like finding stuff in your den you'd forgot about. I had badger brushes <laughs> that I, weren't, I wasn't really using because I was like, mm. and then you try them, and it's like having new stuff, it's like having all these new toys. So I thought, get the other badger brushes out and we'll have a go at them and we'll see. <laughs> we'll see where we go. That's it. Look at that. It did okay, didn't it? Come on, empty that. The Lancashire leaning. Sup of coffee. Yeah. Okay. The wanted. Let's have a go with our little six shoots. I've actually got a shaving brush handle that looks like that. And I was going to use that, but I wanted to use my new toy. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Nothing. Not a sting. Not a zing. Absolutely nothing. And the PAA Star Jelly. There you go. That is a good combo, actually. Because I think the sandalwood at the best notes of this tombstone. Oh, and that's us. Look at this. Look. We did okay, didn't we? We did okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Little bonus video. I might even do another bonus video. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But thanks for you guys. You always watch, always like, always comment always support. Check out Haley's Artisan. Um, like I say, I don't get a kickback or anything, but you'll get 10% uh, and you're helping out a genuine small artisan um, who's pumping out good stuff. So take care of yourselves and each other and I will see you on Saturday now for the Saturday Shave and it's going to be a good one. Bye.